Good day, everybody. This is Jim Sloman speaking. Let's go right to our commentary. This chart is a monthly chart of gold, and let's take a moment to briefly review the indicators we'll be using, all of which are from the Ocean Theory Library of Software. Here in the upper left, you see the price chart itself, where two fundamental ocean indicators are located. The line in blue is the natural moving average, which differs from other moving averages by constantly adjusting itself in a natural way to the conditions of the market. It is the most natural place for a market to return to, as we'll see many examples of. The dotted blue lines above it and below it are standard deviation lines. In orange is the fast natural moving average, or fast NMA, a faster version of the natural moving average. The dotted orange lines above it and below it are its standard deviations. In the first subgraph on the left is the NMC2, which is the most basic picture or pattern of a market. Simply looking to see whether it is positive or negative is a strong indication in itself of what a market is doing. Additionally, the NMC2 is capable of producing zero hits from above or below which represent points of high coiled energy in a market. In the second subgraph on the left are what we call the bounded rainbow indicators, the NST in orange and the NDX in blue. Their own natural moving average is in green. The interaction of the NST and the NDX can tell us a great deal about a market. One example is when they come together and form a singularity or near singularity, such as here for instance. This indicates a point of higher coiled energy in a market, though its mathematics are completely different from the NMC2. In the third subgraph on the left is the NMC, which is a naturally faster version of the NMC2. It is also capable, among other things, of producing zero hits from above or below. At the upper right is another chart on price with an indicator called the triple STX which is performing millions of calculations per bar to bring you its results, which were originally designed as the ultimate stop placement indicator, but now perform other functions as well. The light blue line in the middle is the standard STX. The purple line is the slow STX, a slower version of the standard STX. The orange line is the fast STX, a faster version. The interactions of the three STXs among themselves and with price are very illuminating. In the first subgraph on the right, we have the component four line. The interactions of these four lines, which include the zero line, can also be extremely revealing. One thing in particular to look for are, again, singularities, where two or more lines come together or near a single point, such as here. Singularities can be two-line, three-line, or four-line. The larger the number of lines in a singularity, the more important it is, and the more it tends to represent extremely coiled energy. In the second subgraph on the right is the BTX2 line. The green bullish line represents bullish energy in a market, and the red line represents bearish energy. Each of these lines has its own moving average, and its upper standard deviation in similar colors. In the final subgraph on the right is the BTX1 line in orange. This represents the overall energy or thrust in a market regardless of direction, simply how much energy the market has available. The BTX1 line also has a moving average and an upper and lower standard deviation. All of this is covered in Ocean educational videos, which can be found in the Ocean pages on the manyblessings.net website. These are just some of the tools in the Ocean Theory library of software. They differ from non-Ocean indicators in a number of ways, not least because they are continually adjusting themselves in sophisticated but natural ways to the varying conditions of each market. Each of the ocean indicators allows a market to speak about itself in a different way.